Do you have a favorite era or decade over the course of this franchise? Oh, I think the 1920s because of uh, the factors at play in the Packers' survival. Um, I'd have loved to have lived and followed the team through that decade. Just um, so much history there. And so much of it, I think, has been lost. Uh, you know, the Packers, the league trimmed, cut out most of its small towns in 1927. It cut from 22 to 12 teams. They basically lost Canton, Columbus, Ohio, all these charter franchise teams that had started football well before they did in Green Bay. And um, not only did the Packers survive, but that was the 1927. There were three meetings when the cuts were made, and the Packers ho and Green Bay hosted one of them. And it was largely because the owners love coming to Green Bay, the players love to come, I mean, to Green Bay. Packers did not draw any better than the teams like the Canton Bulldogs, Columbus Panhandles, the teams that folded. There just weren't enough people here. They were in the same, same boat as those other cities. But Green Bay uh, didn't obey pr the, law, the, pro the law of prohibition. <laughs> and uh, so the tavern stayed open here. There was a thriving red light district on the north side. Get out uh, of here. In, 19, in 1928, the city, after a federal raid by the prohibition agents, the city council in Green Bay passed a resolution saying, stay out of our business. We want the local sheriff's department to run the... Uh, <laughs> Who's the, on the council, Capone? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, the sh there, there were several sheriffs um, over a period of time that ran the most popular bars in town during uh -huh. the prohibition. If you owned a tavern, you were also probably sheriff, <laughs> at least for a few years during that period. <laughs> So it was well known that teams, I mean, teams would come to Green Bay and then they, they'd come a week early, they'd stay a week late. Um, this was just a wide open city. Art Rooney told me that in 1933, Art Rooney Jr. told me that his dad told him in 1933, when the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh then Pirates, now Steelers, came to town for the first time after they entered the league, some fans came with him, and uh, the train rolled into the Milwaukee Road Depot, and the fans went out and found out that this was during a period they eased in the end of Prohibition. For a short period of time, bars throughout the country were allowed to sell 2-3 beer. They converted right. from no beer to 2-3 beer to the regular beer, regular alcohol content. Well, this was during a time period when everybody else in the country had to settle for 3-2 beer. But Green Bay, because they never shut down, was still selling the regular the good stuff. stuff. <laughs> so the fans got off the train, went to a bar, realized they were selling real beer in Green Bay, and came back yelling to everybody else on the train. And uh, Rooney said nobody, nobody that went with him, uh, Art Jr. said his dad told him that all the fans who came to Green Bay with them never saw the game. <laughs>